Hey guys, it's Rachel and today I have another Halloween video for you guys. Today we are making some really cute candy corn cookies. I know I've been doing so many collabs lately, but this video is part of another Halloween collab. So make sure you stick around until the end of this video as usual for links to other people's videos too. Anyways, we have a lot of cookies to make, so let's get started. To start off, you're going to need two sticks or one cup of butter. Make sure this is nice and soft. You're also going to add a cup of sugar and then go ahead and cream this together. And of course, you want this nice and light and fluffy. Once that's all creamed together, you're going to add in one egg. Go ahead and beat this in. I'm also going to add a pinch of salt and also a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then just mix this in too. Now I'm going to add in three cups of flour and also a half teaspoon of baking soda. Then I'm just going to mix this in. Once that's all combined, I'm going to take it out onto some parchment paper. And I'm just going to shape it into a disc. And then I'm going to divide the dough into thirds. So I'm going to take the first third now. And you can see here I'm lining a 9 by 4 inch loaf pan with some wax paper. And a great tip is to use some binder clips and that'll just help keep the wax paper in place. Now I'm going to take the dough and just squeeze it out so it fits the length of the pan. Then I'm going to use my fist and just kind of punch down the dough. And I also like to use some parchment paper to get it really nice and flat. Now I'm going to take another third of dough and I'm going to color this yellow with some yellow gel food coloring. I like to use the hand mixer to start this so I don't get food coloring all over my hands. Once you have a nice yellow color, go ahead and set that aside. Now I'm going to make the orange dough. I don't have any orange food coloring, so I just mix some yellow and red. So I am starting out with the yellow, and then I'm adding a little bit of red. You're probably going to need less red than yellow. And be careful not to get the red food coloring on your clothes, by the way, because this stuff really stains. And you're looking for kind of a goldfish, cheddar cheese kind of orange. Now I'm going to press the orange dough over the white dough. And again, using that parchment to get it nice and even. And since this orange dough got pretty soft, I'm just going to pop it in the freezer for about 10 minutes before I add on the yellow dough. Once it comes out of the freezer, I'm just going to place my yellow dough on top. And again, just pressing it out as flat as possible. And once you're happy with the way it looks, just pop it in the fridge for about two hours. Once the dough is nice and firm, we're just gonna start slicing up our cookies. By the way guys, I love this new knife set that I just got from Urban Outfitters. I think it's really cute and the knives are nice and sharp too. I'll leave a link in the description box so you guys can check them out. Anyways, now you can see I am just removing the dough from the loaf pan. And the wax paper makes that super easy. So now just peel off that paper and you can finally start to slice up your cookies. Don't worry if your first few cuts aren't perfect. As you work towards the center, the layers tend to get more even. Now you guys can probably see why this recipe makes so many cookies, because each one of these slices is gonna make six cookies. Once you've sliced those up, first you're just going to cut off the ends into a trapezoid shape, and then I'm going to make six cuts across to make all the little candy corns. You'll notice that half of them are going to be in reverse color order, but I think they still look really cute and chances are people probably won't notice. And I like to pop this tray into the fridge for about 15 minutes before I bake them. That way the candy coins will keep their shape while I bake. After refrigerating them, you just want to bake them off at 350 for about 7 to 10 minutes. And I know that the scrap dough that you cut off from the ends doesn't seem like a lot, but after making like 100 cookies, it really adds up, so feel free to make whatever you want with the scrap dough. Once the cookies come out of the oven, they'll look something like this. I know I only showed one tray of cookies, but this recipe makes like three trays of cookies, so you will have plenty of leftovers to share with friends. This step is totally optional, but I added some faces to some of them with some black candy melts, and I think that this is a really nice kawaii touch. 
Alright guys, the cookies are all finished now. They look so cute. You can see I just put them on this little cake stand, which would make it great to bring to a party. Or you can put them in a little jar like I did here, and you can just give these out to your friends. Alright, I think it's time to see how they taste now. You guys, I could probably eat like 10 of these right now. Since they're so bite-sized, you can just keep popping them into your mouth. And they're really tasty. They kind of taste like a really thick sugar cookie, and they're almost shortbread-like. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to stick around for everyone else's kawaii Halloween videos, too. And I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye, guys. Click here for more kawaii Halloween recipes. See you soon.